When I first started my journey with EEG interpretation, I remember seeing this pattern here, a photomyoclonic response elicited during intermittent photic stimulation. I absolutely thought what I was witnessing was a seizure. However, I wasn't, and here's why. A photomyoclonic response is a extracerebral reaction that occurs during intermittent photic stimulation, or IPS for short. This response originates from the frontalis muscles of the scalp. When these muscles contract in response to the flashing light, they generate myoclonic potentials, essentially muscle-related electrical activity that is picked up by the EEG. These myogenic potentials can range from a single motor unit potential to a sustained series of spikes. The key characteristic of the photomyoclonic response is that it is time-locked to the photic stimulation. This means that the contractions of the frontalis muscles begin and end in synchrony with the light flashes. However, there's often a brief delay between the light flash and the appearance of these myogenic potentials on the EEG. This delay is usually brief, but it's an important detail to recognize. One of the challenges in interpreting EEGs with photomyoclonic responses is distinguishing these normal muscle reactions from abnormal brain activity. Specifically, there's a risk of confusing a normal photomyoclonic response with an abnormal photoparoxysmal response, which is associated with epileptic activity. This distinction is crucial because misinterpretation could lead to an incorrect diagnosis. The photomyoclonic response is generally benign and is considered a normal artifact of the photic stimulation process. However, according to a study published in epilepsy research, it's more likely to be observed in individuals who are in a state of hyperexcitability or undergoing withdrawal from certain substances. These conditions can increase the sensitivity of the frontalis muscles to stimuli resulting in a more pronounced photomyoclonic response. Research from the Clinical Neurophysiology Journal suggests that while this response is normal, its presence and characteristics can provide insights into a patient's neurophysiological state, especially under specific conditions. Here, you can see a clear depiction of a photomyoclonic response elicited during IPS. Notice how the myogenic spikes correspond to the timing of the light flashes, yet maintain a slight delay, a hallmark of this response. This image is a perfect example of how these responses can appear during EEG monitoring. To summarize, here are the important parts to remember. Photomyoclonic response, an extracerebral response originating from the frontalis muscles during intermittent photic stimulation, or IPS. Myogenic potentials. These muscle-generated electrical activities are time-locked to the photic stimulation, but often show a brief delay. Differentiation. It's crucial to differentiate a photomyoclonic response from a photoparoxysmal response to avoid misdiagnosis, especially in epileptic conditions. Clinical context. Although generally benign, the photomyoclonic response can be more pronounced in states of hyperexcitability or during withdrawal offering potential insights into a patient's neurological status. And that's it, everyone. Hey, if you want longer form educational content, we are excited to announce that we have launched a podcast series going over all things neurology and neurodiagnostics. We will have physicians, authors, technologists, and the like talking with me about our fascinating specialty. So check out the Corticare podcast by simply searching for it in the YouTube search bar or anywhere you get your podcasts. Thanks. And I'll see you next Tuesday.